Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752 with this year daily go getemism number 886 for March 7th, 2017. All right, we have a unique situation tonight. Y'all may not get this video until the next day because we had a really bad power outage in my area and I don't have any internet service, so I can't upload the video to YouTube or um, or to the uh, or to Facebook. So, but we still want to get this thing done. Hopefully, hopefully everything is okay by tomorrow because you know now we're kind of getting into the fourth quarter. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, tonight, tonight I want to talk to y'all about crying over spilled milk and lost money. Crying over spilled milk, 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 crying over spilled milk and lost money. You know, when we go through hardships in life, when we go through hard times, when we suffer tragedies and losses in our lives, there is a tendency for a lot of us to lament over it and, to, you know, to stress over it and, and to really, uh, you know, gives up, give our, our, ourselves a hard time over our losses for a long time. So, for, for some people don't get over things in the same time frame as others. So we kind of have to wait until certain people get over whatever they have to get over. But in the meantime, in the meantime, if we're doing a whole lot of complaining, if we're doing a whole lot of bitching, we're doing a whole lot of just really, really staying in, in, in the darkness and trying to get other people to solve our problems for us, when, in, when some of the problems may honestly have been of our own doing. But we're crying over spilled milk. That's what crying over spilled milk is. Spilled, milk's, spilled milk is, that, well, they are mistakes. They are hardships. They are hard times. They are struggles. They're challenges. They're the things that we try to avoid most in life because instead of the, the road being smooth like that, smooth and straight like that, it makes it do this. It makes it do this. You know, you go up, up and down, up and down. Yeah. And it's tough. It is. It's a tough situation. And it's not something that we would rather deal with, just like I was saying, but it's something that everybody has to go through. It's something that everybody has to deal with. It's something that each and every person in this world has to be challenged with at some point or another. I don't care how spoiled you were. I don't care what kind of silver spoon you that was put in your mouth. I don't care how poor you were born. It doesn't matter what your social standing is, your socioeconomic status. It really doesn't matter. You're always going to go through something in life that you're not used to. See, that, well, that's, that's one of the things that I don't think we totally understand about each other. Many of us think that just because somebody has never really had anything or hasn't had a whole lot uh, in life as far as material things are concerned, we think that they don't stress over not having anything less than what little they already had, and that's just not true. First of all, you can miss what you never had. You can do that. Because if you've always wanted happiness, but you were unable to get it, of course you're going to miss that. How are you going to not miss that? Yeah, you never had it, but yeah, you miss it because you desire it. And desiring something that you can't get and, and missing something that you had, that you wanted, it's almost the same thing. I think we're gonna do do a show about that tomorrow. You know, missing what you what you never had. But check it out. You know, lost money. Money makes the world go round. I hate the fact that that's partly. Well, I hate the fact that that's a large truth. I really do. I hate the fact that we get stuck so much in this capitalistic society that we think that money can solve all our problems. Money can bring us happiness. Money will take care of anything that's broke. Money will keep us healthy. Money will buy us anything that we want. Money will solve all of our problems. And there are plenty of us who really, really believe that. We really, really think that just as long as our pockets are lined real fat and our bank account uh, are you know, have enough zeros in them, then we're okay. It's 
it's not true though. It's not true. You know, you, you if you've known somebody that may not have had a lot of money, but they may have built up or saved up or or you know, they, they had a couple of dollars and then they suffer a loss for some reason because we take chances. Some people gamble all of their money away. And some people take a take a gamble that they wouldn't normally do because they really want to secure their future. So you take senior citizens who have funneled all of their life savings into an investment only to be scammed and they lose everything. You know, that's tough. It really is. It's really tough. Now, can you say that you can't cry over spilled milk when it comes to that? Hmm. You know, you're taking your 65-year-old ass back to work because you've lost everything. I kind of think that that's worth crying over because that's real. That's really, really tough. Now, we can also say things like, well, if it's God's will to have it again, then I will. Or if it was God's will for me to have it in the first place, then I would have kept it. That's kind of a sellout. It's a cop-out. It really is. Not saying that I don't believe in the creator because, of course, I do. But I also believe that he works through us. Not just independent, like he just sits up in heaven while we, you know, decide for ourselves what he likes and what he doesn't like. So I can't really get into that. We have to make decisions and we make, we try to make well-informed decisions based on our experience, our wisdom. Sometimes it works out. A lot of times it works out and sometimes it just doesn't work out. So we have to go back to the drawing board. But in the interim, somebody's going to hear about it. We're going to be bitching to somebody. We're going to be filing a complaint with somebody. we just going to be straight up belly aching and complaining about something. Because we want, we want what we had back. We needed that, homie. We needed it back. And now it's gone and we got to do something about it. Cried over spilled milk. Lost money. Now, I don't think that you should let money run your entire existence. I don't think that you should let money be your guide. Because for some people, uh, quite honestly, their money is their God. I don't think that we should fall into that trap. But nonetheless, there's nothing wrong with protecting what you already had. It's your assets. You need that. You need that, home. So we got to do something. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell you in this video that it's not okay to pout every now and then when you take a loss. I'm not going to tell you that it's not okay to be sad. I'm not going to tell you that it's not okay to be upset. I'm not going to tell you that it's okay to be down for a hot minute. What I am going to tell you is that there comes a time where we have to pull ourselves back up. You know, brush that dirt off our shoulders. You know, get it together. Because life goes on. Life goes on. It ain't, I mean, ain't, ain't no way around it. Life goes on. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, just like I said, life goes on. And you want to go on with your life and you make sure that you're living while you're alive. And what I mean by living while you're alive, I mean that you increase your quality of life every chance you get. And it's hard to increase your quality of life while you are bitching, complaining, lamenting, and really, really stressing over a loss that you have taken in the form of a mistake, even a death in your family. Uh, you know, as much as I would hate to lose a loved one through death, we know that it's a reality and it's going to come and get all of us one day and somebody will be crying over us, but they still have to, they still have to live and be alive while they're living or be living while they're alive. It's just no other way around it. The Urban Therapy with Sun Show is tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, March 8th. 8.30 p.m. And we're talking about the fear of being broke and alone. The fear of being broke and alone. The fear of being broke and alone. Do you know what I'm talking about? Have you ever felt it? Is it real to you? You know, when you think about putting those two fears together... Some people just fear being broke, you know, losing everything that they had. And some people fear being alone, not having any friends, dying by themselves, being, being sick and, and not having anybody to care for you, not having a companion, a lover that will, will, will be there for you. 
in your times of struggle, your times of need, your time of 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 change. Being older, not having somebody there to grow old with. It's a real fear for some people. Some people are lonely while they are alone with somebody else. Anyway, that's what we're going to be talking about tomorrow night on the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. So this is, this show is going to be banging. So make sure y'all come through. <sighs> Call in number 319-527-6199. 319-527-6199. Blogtalkradio.com forward slash sun752. And that's also the Daily Go Get Him show every single day. I said every single day. Boom. 319-527-6199. Blogtalkradio.com forward slash sun752. Peace. Be crying over spilled milk, baby. <laughs>